lot of unhappiness about what you're doing on the 12th of May particularly, but also on the 3rd of June and I guess also 31st of May. What would you say to people who are criticising your decision? Well, we've shown an awful lot of good faith in the last three or four months since we had that rather um, awful deal that we'd never seen, never discussed, forced upon us. And then we get another deal forced upon us that uh, contains our red lines. We told the employers wouldn't fly. Uh, and then at the last moment, things have been altered again. Ever since uh, Mr Harper and uh, Mr Merriman have taken over facilitating the talks, I don't think there's been anything done in good faith. Um, that's quite a strong accusation. I mean, many of us have thought, well, it's all gone quiet, so therefore they're progressing towards a settlement. What is it that you need? Is it simply about pay? Well, after four years, it is about pay. But I think there's some unnatural expectations from either the DFT, the Treasury, or and all the employers, or certain people have overpromised. Quite simply, after four years, we want a simple pay rise. But we're not going to give up every term and condition, everything that takes 140 years to gain, right, for nothing, for what was 4% and 4%, and the second 4% was based on things that we said we couldn't put a value on, so had to go into company-based talks. I'm not sure who's doing what, but I'm very confused. How long is this going to go on for? Um, national rail strikes resume for the first time since 1989 um, in June. I know that was... Um, uh, your, your fellow uniform, uh, you, union, um, uh, the RMT, but are we going to see things dragging on right through this summer? I believe so. These are government-led strikes, government-driven strikes, government-organised strikes. If you leave us in our free collective bargaining to deal with our employers, maybe we'd be in a better position. But we are hamstrung by the dead hand of government, as we have been for the last two years.